All right, thanks, Jeff. Well, this next story is almost too unbelievable to be true. It's about a Saskatoon woman who lost her diamond wedding rings while running errands on Monday and her search to find them. As Carla Schinkeruck tells us, with help from strangers and a little luck, she's no longer looking for her prized possessions. The outcome of this tale might have something to do with warmer weather and good luck. Less ice and snow covering this parking stall helped with locating a lost wedding ring. But this story goes back to Monday in another part of the city. I was running some errands around the city. Um, I had stopped at Costco, I stopped at Sobeys, and then I stopped at one of my husband's wholesalers. And when I was at the wholesaler, I realized that my rings had fallen off at some point. Then she retraced her steps, hoping desperately to get lucky. Went into all the stores, searched the parking lots, didn't find anything. We came back in the evening and searched again. Doubtful the ring worth thousands would be found, but she kept on. I posted on the Costco Saskatoon Facebook page. Then shockingly, 40 minutes to an hour, somebody had messaged me asking to call, like, for me to call them. And more astonishing, that person wasn't even at Costco, but her daughter saw the post and knew her mom had found a ring that day. She found them at Sobeys, just in a parking stall, like, right in front of the doors. Wow. So she found two of the rings, the main, like, engagement ring, one of the bands. Ecstatic that at least two-thirds of the set were found, she kept checking the stores. And then after this interview with CTV News, she went into Sobeys to ask staff if anything was turned in. Nothing there, but in an uncanny twist of fate. Do you remember where I just picked this up? Where was it? Walking to her vehicle, she checked the same parking spot and embedded in the melting ice, there it was, the third band of her wedding set. Your wings? Yeah, they are. You found them? Yeah, they are. Sundell says she won't be wearing the rings again until they fit properly. I'm so thankful that she returned them to me. We're, we're shocked. And perhaps more shocked? that enough snow had melted, revealing the final band that had been waiting for her return two days later. Carla Schenkerich, CTV News.